Good morning. I've been asked to speak briefly so we can get on with the show today. Thank y'all. I want y'all to know y'all are not alone in that tonight, that night. There were many, many people going through the same thing, and we tried as best we could. At that time, the Austin Fire Department was not quite prepared to handle an emergency of that scale. Neither was Austin EMS. Uh, the most vivid memory I have of that night was at Northland and Shoal Creek, where there was a water, uh, excuse me, a vehicle stuck on the bridge in about three feet of water, and we had our aerial ladder out with our back wheels in the water, and it had it fully extended at 100 feet, and we still could not reach that car. And we watched that car raise up over the bridge and wash down Shoal Creek, probably towards y'all's house. So after that night, we spent the next day doing damage surveys, helping other people, citizens get their houses back together as much as we could, and unfortunately doing a number of body recoveries along Shoal Creek for the next week. At that time, we didn't even have enough life jackets on our apparatus to outfit us. Since then, the Austin Fire Department, Austin EMS, Austin Police Department, we've all gone through extensive training to handle these type of situations, mainly to protect ourselves first and then be able to get our citizens out safely and comfortably. It's taken a lot of effort, many years. Hopefully, this will not happen to this scale again. We're better prepared, but we do have to remember, we live in the hill country, right on the edge. These flash floods are gonna happen.